welcome back my name is Bukumi Biki I hope you guys are feeling good so we're gonna be checking out those videos together titled Christian woman sees prophet Muhammad in a dream and convert wow so let's check it out so sister what's the what's the background story to uh... well I've always known that Jesus was just a prophet Excellent. I, I know that no one told me I know he prayed to the Father. He he never said he was. He never said he was. Allahu Akbar. Good God. Amazing. He never said. He Amazing. never said that. He never said it. And I, I, I've had dreams about Muhammad. To be honest, I never told you. Oh, oh, I've had dreams about Muhammad. Oh, many dreams. Can, can you describe some of them, or, or the most yes, prominent one? Yeah, when I was in the hospital having a heart operation, Muhammad was surrounding me. It was all Muhammad. He was, they were all laughing. Like they're happy yeah. around you. Happy, so yeah. you felt that when you were in, in, yeah. in a time of distress there. Yeah. And, yeah. and and so you had that experience which must be, must be quite amazing. Yeah. And what, what attracted you, uh, you to Islam? Um, was it after, after you felt you just, you just feel like this is, must be the truth, this is the, this yeah. the right path? Yeah. Excellent. So you know we believe Jesus, in Jesus Christ. Yes. He's a messenger of God, uh, of God yeah, for us. Messenger. And we love him as Muslims. Yes. Okay, we don't reject him or anything no. like that. But we only worship one God. Yeah. The one who Jesus worshipped when he said yeah, there's he only true said that to me that the only true to the, Father. the only true God is the Father, yeah. Jesus said. Yeah, he prayed to the Father. And we I know, that's fine. And we called him uh, we call him Allah in Arabic. Allah. Okay. And Jesus in Aramaic would have also called him Allah, which is in Aramaic. Okay. Very similar, you know, the, the words there. So sister, how old are you? If you don't mind me yeah, asking. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Allah Akbar. Look how Allah has saved you at this at this yeah. uh, at this age here. When a person accepts Islam. My husband is eighty-six. He doesn't believe. Allah Akbar. May Allah guide him. Make you a means of guidance for him as well, inshallah. So I know it's a hot day, inshallah. We won't, won't delay any further. Uh, our young brother, he he will do the shahada with you. Okay. The shahada is the testimony of faith. It's to say that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah and that the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him is his final messenger and Abraham and Jesus and Moses are all messengers of God. They were all messengers, yeah, I know that. Allahu Akbar. I know that anyway, no one, I know, I just know it. You just know it. Allah I know Allah it. I don't need anyone to Allahu Akbar. I know. Ayan, if you want to do the shahada for the sister, inshallah. Yeah. So he's going to do it in, uh, in Arabic, he's going to say it slowly, slowly. Repeat and if you repeat after him. Repeat after him. And then he's going to do it in English as well, yeah. inshallah. So uh, we'll start with the Arabic. Uh, Ashadu. Ashadu. An. Am. An. 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 La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. La. 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 Wa ashadu. Wa ash. Wa ash. Hadu. Hadu. An. Am. Na. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abdu. Abdu. Who. 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 Wa. Wa. Rasulu. 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 Yeah, Rasulu. <laughs> so yeah. This is the first time doing it, so be with us, yeah. So if you say English, English yeah. so you, know, you translate for you as well. I bear witness. I bear witness. That none. That none. Has the right to be worshipped. Has the right to be worshipped. Except Allah. Except Allah. And, uh, and the... Um, is, I bear witness. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad is his final messenger. Is his final messenger. Allahu Akbar. Sister, welcome to Islam. Thank you. Welcome to Islam. All of your previous sins have been forgiven. You start a new life as a Muslim. And this is this is the assurance that we have of paradise. Every single Muslim will enter into paradise. A friend told me once you can't be a Muslim unless you're born. Incorrect. That's incorrect. Absolutely incorrect. You can become a Muslim at any age, from any nationality, any background. Uh, this religion doesn't discriminate on any of those grounds. So, okay. okay. so once once accepting the shahada, which is the first step here, then a person like yourself, a new Muslim, starts to pray, charity, visit Mecca, fasting Ramadan, all these things that you can do. Um, and we have a we have a little gift for you here. We have a Quran in uh, in English here, a slightly larger Quran. It shows you the prayer and everything. This is a prayer mat, a special prayer mat. Which has the Arabic words and everything in there written down, so you can so you can help to help you on that journey. Um, and if it's okay with you, we can take a contact number, so some sisters can get in touch with you. Yeah. Someone you can call to ask for any questions, anything okay. you want to clarify. Okay. We can take that off you just to help you with that. Okay. How do you feel, sister? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. How long has this um, desire been to oh, become a for a long time? Yeah. Wow. 
We're very happy for you. We're very happy for you. Uh, if, you if you had some sisters here, we'd ask them to come and give you a hug. Obviously, you know, in Islam, yeah. the opposite gen genders, we don't. I'm sure your husband would mind as well. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but we'll take your number and we'll get, get in touch yeah, with okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sister, the sister don't make it Muslim. 80, 84, mashallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Give her a hug, mashallah. Give her a hug and welcome to Islam. Muslim, yeah, Islam. She oh. just became Muslim right now at the age of 84. 84. Oh, mashallah. Mashallah, the sister had dreams about the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, Muslim. welcome, Muhammad. Subhanallah. Oh. She just became Muslim, mashallah. Mashallah. Mashallah, the sister here. Yeah. Sister, welcome and congratulate the sister, mashallah. Mashallah, she just became Muslim, mashallah. Mashallah, she is 84. Mashallah, she just Allah just saved her from uh, Jahan. Mashallah. Oh, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. I'm so emotional. Mashallah, where are you from, sisters? Mashallah. So, Indonesia. Indonesia. Alhamdulillah. One of the biggest population of Muslims in the world. Mashallah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So you have a big family now of billions of Muslims. Mashallah. Anywhere in the world you go, say salamu alaikum. You have sisters there ready for you. Mashallah. Your husband's well, there, you inshallah. Okay. We'll get nice in touch with you. Take, yeah. take it, inshallah. Yeah. Take it, sister. Salaamu yeah. alaikum. Yeah. Salaamu alaikum. Wow. Hmm. But I want to get something quite. Well, I need to understand something here. She said she has been dreaming of Prophet Muhammad for a long time. How they did it start? Like, what orchestrated the whole thing? What started it? How? Because if she was a true Christian, there's no way she can dream about Prophet Muhammad. If only she has, like she said, okay, she has heard about Prophet Muhammad. I think she did some research. Maybe that's what led to it. But even though you've done research, as long as you're, you've not really connected deeply to the religion, you're still into your own religion, Christianity. There's no way, I, I, I mean, I think there's no way you can dream about Prophet Muhammad. That's my own opinion. I don't think so. But it's a beautiful thing to hear. But I don't know. I felt like she wasn't really ready, fully ready to to convert even though they told her okay take your shahada she was just having come me i just believe that she was just trying to have conversation with them but mm, i think she actually agreed later on that okay she would take the shahada and that was a beautiful thing but that guy that actually you know helped out with her shahada he seems he's new in this Taking of it, but he tried, he tried, he tried because at the point of, at the point in time, it was as if he was forgetting what to say. No, of uh, he was forgetting his words, but you know, he did perfectly well. I'm happy for her, and she came with her husband. I, you know, I'm sure husband does not want to be seen. That was beautiful. The fact that you no know, Muslims around the streets actually gave her a hug that's one thing about Muslims, they are so well welcome. Like, warm welcome they give this warm welcome in they are so hospitable so i really like the fact that they gave her the hug because in islam you are not supposed to hug the opposite sex it's only your gender that must hug you woman to woman man to man so and you see some of them are from Indo indonesia which is the largest population of muslims in the world indonesia somewhere that was beautiful i really enjoyed their conversation and everything thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye